Hello and welcome to another video on doing stuff and filming it. Now, here's something I don't do very often. In fact, I don't know if I've done this exact thing before or not. A bit of a follow-up to one of my product review videos. Now, about, oh, I don't know, a day ago now, at the time of recording, I had a comment on one of my videos on, um, on this, this Rolson uh, toolkit that I bought. Now, my review at the time of this was somewhat mixed... I thought it, it was okay for the money, but it was pretty poor quality. I think I gave it something like 6.5 out of 10 in the end. Yeah, there, there are much better things out there. I didn't really recommend buying this unless you had no other option. Anyway, this comment pointed out something that I haven't... Um, well, I didn't notice at the time. And, um, yeah, it's to do with the, the functionality of the tools. I'll show you what I mean. So, what they've said is... Uh, it's to do with the screwdriver bits here. Now, take these out, and then you've got this extension bar, and of course the, the screwdriver handle. Now, what they said is, these, the little bits, fit there nicely. I think we covered that in the last one as well. It's got, it's magnetic, so they just sort of snap in place, and that feels reasonable in the hand. It's not too bad. And then you have this bit, this extension bar, now that doesn't fit in there, okay, not a big deal, that, that happens, it doesn't fit that way either. That's why you have this thing, AD, for adapter, I assume, anyway. And what you do is you put that in there, like that, and then it changes the end shape so that that then fits on there. And it goes on with a click, and you can take it on and off. It's a bit wobbly, as you can see. There's a bit of play as you do know, but yeah, you're then using the extension bar. Now, if you were using the sockets like this, that works fine. Again, you know, the bit of play, but you could undo a nut or a bolt with that quite easily. You know, that's going to work. Problem is, however, you've got no way of attaching your screwdriver bits to the extension. There's no second adapter for it. But what are you meant to do with that? I mean, I did try. What you can do is use the smallest of the sockets on there. If you're really in a bind, you can put that in there, but it's not the same. If you look, I don't know if this is going to come across on the camera. Yeah. They don't quite fit. So if you want to really exert some force on that... It's just going to slip and ruin it. You have no way of using the extension bar with your screwdriver bits. Now, is that an issue for me? No, because I have many tools and I'm fairly sure I have an adapter somewhere that lets me use this with these. But if this was all the tools you had, like you'd bought in an emergency, which, if I'm honest, is the only situation where I would say you, you would buy this. You, you know, if you have any other options, use them. You're pretty screwed. That's pretty piss poor, really. So, yeah, it's a good shout. Um, I apologise if I get your username wrong. Jason Suresh. It's a good shout and a good spot. I didn't see that in the uh, the original video. But, yeah, it's unfortunately another another bad mark for this, for this thing. Um, yeah, not really that good. Works fine as a normal screwdriver. If you put that bit on there, that's fine. But, yeah, that tool is not compatible with that. It's only compatible with those, even with the adapter. So, well, you have to use the adapter to use the handle on it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I think... I originally, in the original video, I gave it a 5, but then the price point brought it up to a sort of 6, 6.5. I'm going to downgrade that another point, call it 5.5. Must do better. Alright, anyway, thank you for watching, thank you for commenting and pointing out the things that I uh, that I miss, uh, especially you, Jason. Um, yeah, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video on doing stuff and filming it. Please don't forget to press the big button here in the middle to subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you liked what you just saw, please click the like button below and leave a comment letting me know what you liked about it. And as always, thank you for watching.